Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Twist Gaming. We are here live at Dice Tower Con in lovely Orlando, Florida. Only a small trip away from me. Yes. Uh, we are here with the last interview of the night, and we are ending on a very high note. I have Rusty here with three nail games, as well as my beautiful co-host, Miss Julie. Uh, Rusty, tell us. <laughs> that was good. Right? Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, so, Rusty, tell me what you brought for us today. Okay, so this is a game called Sea of Plunder. And in Sea of Plunder, you are a merchant ship. You are chasing after mysterious treasure and uh, treasure islands, and they're actually quite elusive. So it starts out in the center of the map, but it can actually move around for you or spawn in a new it's location. It's a floating island. I'm so excited. Yes, yes you <laughs> bet. All right. So... So you're chasing after these mysterious treasure islands because you've heard all the tales of their wonderful riches, and you're also going to be gathering goods at these colored port islands along the way. But all at the same time, you're watching out for this band of pirates that you're going to be dodging as well. So on your turn, you are going to draw two cards, then you're going to play a card, mm -hmm. and you're going to discard a card. But the twist is that your discard is actually going to have a major impact on the game. So what you play is going to affect the, you. You're going to allow you to move around, and whatever you discard is going to cause a pirate of your choosing to move as well. Okay. So if you take a look in your hands, yes. you should have a hand of cards in front of you. Most of those cards in there are going to be maps. Okay. And so these maps are going to allow you to move according to as if you are that boat. So if I am that boat Sorry. and I am going to be moving according to that map right there. So okay. you start out where the boat is, going to where that X's location is. So I'm noticing that it showed a diagonal there. Does that yes. mean you... If there's another uh, a boat or island in the way, you would not be able to use that card. No, as a um, matter of fact, this game, it, it really excels on any time you come into contact with someone else or something else on the board, something is going to occur. Something's happened. Yes, okay. so, and there's quite a few different interactions. So you flip over your player aid here, and you might even toss sure, that up yeah, there. Absolutely. So the player aid will show you that there's multiple things that can occur. If you ever run across the treasure island, you don't have to land directly on it, but if you run across it, you still gain the treasure, which is worth three points at the end of the game. There you go. All right. If if you ever land directly on it, you get the treasure, but you also are going to get a new card off the top of the deck, which is going to be a bonus for you land directly on it. Okay. If you ever run across another player, you get a draw card of drifting cargo. If you ever land directly on them, you steal a card directly from their hand. Okay. If you come into contact with a pirate in any way, shape, or form, you are a merchant ship, so you can't fight them, but you can bribe them off with one of your goods in your hand. If you don't have a good to bribe the pirate with, you then have to pay for the repairs that the pirates have damaged your ship with, and so you will have negative one point or debt at the end of the game. This is fascinating because everybody always does the pirate game. I like that this is like the... The tale of the unsung hero, the person who's actually trying to build up civilization and is getting <laughs> getting harassed by the pirates. That's tempting. That's yes. tempting. So um, a couple important things to note about the world, the world being round. If you travel off one side of the map, you pop up on the other Pac-Man style. Okay. And also your maps, you can use your magical compass. Everybody starts with one of them. Yes. And you have one magical compass or each magical compass at the end of the game is going to be worth one point at the end of the game. Okay, so uh, you can use your magical compass and you can chip it into the discard pile and it now allows you to rotate your treasure maps in any orientation that you would like. Okay. Because normally you have to place them according to the compass down here in the bottom right hand corner of the board. Gotcha. Okay, so it has to match what the board says unless you use your magical compass. Uh, a neat aspect of the game is that anytime somebody travels across and lands on a treasure island of some sort, if they collect that treasure, we will then take our custom 14-sided dice. We're going to roll those 14-sided dice to give us our new coordinates of where that treasure island is going to end up. So 11 and 10, this is our new destination that we're going to be traveling towards. Okay. So a couple other cards that can pop up in the game are going to be Port City cards. Port City cards allow you to travel directly to those islands and oh, gather a I good. Oh, I love the art on those, too. And yeah. we also have uh, regular action cards. Welcome so to Florida, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So um, 
Hurricane is going to be a card that allows you to move all players according to your discard. So you play this as your turn, all right, and then whatever you discard, and now gives the discard a double meaning. So you're still going to be able to move the pirates according to your discard as usual, but also now the discard is going to determine where you shove all the other players to across the map. Hurricanes are fun. <laughs> They're interesting, that's for Hurricanes sure. Hurricanes are fun. The last thing that can pop up in the deck is going to be different event cards, and they just pop up anytime someone draws them. They play instantly in these maroon collared cards. Uh, for example, this one here adds something interesting new to the um, game, such as you are going to add a second treasure island to the board. And so that one is going to spawn out there in some fashion due to the 14-sided dice, and this is what we're going to have. Okay. So. Okay. Would you guys like to give it a go? Yes. Absolutely. Let's uh, bring okay. that down a little so bit. So, tell you what, best pirate imitation goes first. <laughs> Come on, Ann. I want to see it. <laughs> Ask me what a pirate's favorite letter is. What's, What's pi it? pirate's favorite letter? R. <laughs> <laughs> no, me matey. You'd think it would be the R, but his heart belongs with the C. I'd say you win this one. Uh, let's go ahead and give it to Julie. Oh no, I have to start. I don't know what I'm doing. I regret everything. Okay. How did I get into this place? All right, so I, 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 sh I have, I have ch how many? To so you start? should have five cards in your hand, and plus you're also going to have a good of the collar port that you started on. Very okay. good. Okay. So, and those goods are worth points at the end of the game, so that you can bribe the pirates with them. But they're also worth points based on the number of different types of goods. And that I know you I'm collect. not supposed to share. It's supposed to be all secret. But since we're only playing one round, I just yeah. like to point out I have linens. They're quite lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Very lovely. Okay. And here at Rabican, we produce weaponry. Mm. That is very different than the linens. I got okay. pots. <laughs> So I pick two of them, one I'm going to play and one I'm going to discard. Correct. So go ahead and draw two cards. Okay. And then you're going to be able to play one card and well, discard another. So this another. is a action? So yes. that would play ins instantly? Yep. Uh, no, it's not no? Act, or it's not instant event card, but you okay. can play it as its special effect. All okay. right, so that would be your turn is play it and perform Which those is actions. Which draw one card, then play two more. Correct. Discard no. is normal. Yes. And so one other thing I forgot to mention. Sure. Um, you will see down there in the bottom of the art, all right, is going to be a little symbol there. It says, if discarded. So sometimes you're going to run into some of these action cards that don't do you any good um, in your hand. So you might not want to take that special action, but you can always discard it, and it, the special action doesn't happen, but you will then be able to move a pirate according to that little treasure map, which is going to be one spot north, south, east, or west. Well, it says nothing ventured, nothing gained, which is kind of my motto here yeah. when I'm trying new games. So Sounds we're going to do that one. Okay, what is? let me see that one. Mm -hmm. So you'll get to draw one card. So I draw one. And then you're going to get to play two, Wonderful. which means that you are going to be able to move your boat twice. Right. One. Oh, no. So this is... And for us, sitting on this side of the table, it's yes. uh, best to hold our maps upside down. So that way we so match the board. Oh, okay. Oh, One, so you two, are oh I be certainly don't want to go by the pirate ship first. You are purple. I am purple. I'm going. Um, right. All right. Uh, still, still, nope. Takes a little bit to yep. get hold of orientation. So, so I'm still facing it this way, however? Nope, you're going to be rotated, be matching that way. the compass with the board Fantastic. right down here. So if we put that there, for the sake of argument, yeah. and also yeah. the sake of expediency, even though my spatial awareness, I am quite certain, Perfect. is terrible right now in making this choice, I'm going to go <laughs> down... Yep, one, down diagonal. And then one. Wait, is that the two? Absolutely. Yep, you got it. Okay. So. Uh, no, actually, sorry. It's backwards, we are right? upside down according yeah, yeah. to this map. So 
Um, here we go. You are going to... If you do it in the camera, it's the same way. <laughs> All right, there looking at go. everything backwards. <laughs> that might be the problem. Push Can it. Can I hold that close for a <laughs> second? Sorry. So you're going to go down diagonal and then down, and then you would land on a pirate. But so. I still get a second card, or I have to stop right then and there? Nope, you still get a second card to play. However, since you ran into a pirate, you need to discard a good to All bribe right. them. So sad. All, All right, right. see, I it. chose poorly. All right, so then this one... I'm just going to hold them all this way. Yeah. That <laughs> might help me a little bit. No, no, no. Maybe. Yes. Yes. One, two, three. Very good. Very good. All so right. That was my second one. Okay. So then my go. I am yep. going to draw cards. And I tell you what, I've got this card here in my hands. I like it. And I'm going to use it so normally it is going to play all right sending me to the right but that's not the direction i want to go i want to go towards the treasure so i can discard my magical compass i'm going to rotate it and it's going to move me what? i am the boat moving to the x i'm going to go towards that treasure island so that is it's my like discard he's played this before <laughs> you would think so i i hope anyway um and then i am going to discard a card now and we might as well have a little bit of fun with it. So I'm going to send the pirates after you <laughs> and blockade Aww, you in. So, All right. Uh, so I I'd like to say I'm shocked, but I'm not. <laughs> I'd like to say that I'm upset, but I'm really not. Um, I am going to copycat you, I think. Yes. Uh, and I am going to play uh, this card right here. But I am also going to discard my compass, so that goes there, so that I can do it this way. So it is one, two, and three. Very good. Right next to the treasure chest. Oh, but I never drew my two cards, so we're going to pretend like I did that first. <laughs> okay. And then now you get to discard a card and pick any pirate out there. All right. That I want. And I might have just, you know possibly put one in her vicinity if that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it doesn't come my way, if I might throw you under uh -huh. the bus. <laughs> um, I'm just going to get one, two, no, that's not there, no. Uh, Alright, let's, let's try that one. Okay, this is the card I'm going to discard. I'm going to move this pirate. It's going to oh. go one, Two, three. She is too kind. <laughs> Aren't I sweet? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> One more round? One more round. One more Let's round. Go for it. All right. So first I pick my two. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> uh huh. No. No. All right. So I definitely am going to play this one. Which means I'm here. All right. And then I'm going to discard. Um, this one. I like how we're playing playing this game on like hard mode with the board upside down. <laughs> it really adds a little yep. a, a so new wait, level if it, of difficulty. What if a pirate ship lands? Oh. All right, so if you have the pirate ships land on the treasure, the pirates instantly get a treasure. Right? <laughs> and Julie, that I now don't. sends. I don't. I'll tell you what, I'll let you roll the 14s. Burning, I'm, bur I'm burning bridges here. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Julie. <laughs> All right, so that one gives us seven. one and seven. So one seven. This is the new treasure island. So that is our new target and goal. But don't forget, you can always loop the world and come I'm up on the other side. I'm not playing to win, mind you. I'm playing <laughs> to see what all everything does. does. <laughs> all right. And so that's your discard, my go. Which makes me a bit of a bull in a china shop while we're playing here. All right, so here. here we go. So oh. this is our first event card that popped up. So I draw a card to replace it. It says, Tales of More Treasure, add another treasure island to the board. 511. So purple 5 down to 11. And Sweet. There we go. All right, so that being said, 
I don't think I'm going to be able to get the treasure island this turn, but I am going to do everything I can to thwart your guys' plans. Oh, thanks! Sweet. So that's, that's what thanks. I'm here for. So Hurricane, I'm going to play this, and now... Uh, all other players move according to my discard. Oh, wow. So now my Including discard has a double effect. Not the pirates. Okay. All right. But uh, so according to my action, I am going to move all of you guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now my discard bonus is move a pirate according to my discard. I will go ahead and grab that treasure for the pirates. I feel like you guys are not See, playing bitter. this game. So bitter. We're <laughs> like so bitter should. right now. <laughs> Gives us 110 is the new. All right. Go. I feel, I feel <laughs> <laughs> guys, the pirates aren't supposed to get the treasure. <laughs> no, I will tell you that is a end of game mechanic. So if you're feeling like you're ahead, there's two different ways that this game ends. It's when a player gets three or oh, more treasures or if the pirates end up getting six or more. That's so, so salty. And also, <laughs> you might have noticed that this is a 13 by 13 grid, but we're using custom 14-sided dice. Oh. Okay, so that means that any time we roll a 14, the pirates will instantly get a treasure as well. So Aww. that end-of-game mechanic can really pop up on you if you're not That's watching sweet. out for it. <laughs> 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 now, I, on the good note, the pirates can't win. All right, so we are playing amongst ourselves, but the pirates will not be winning. See, he says that, but I think secretly the pirates always win. <laughs> it's kind of how I'm feeling. Go to bed, still bitter about it. <laughs> yep. That's how you know a game's real good. The, you won the game, but you just it doesn't feel like a true victory. Right. So. Okay, so I'm. Ugh. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, um, don't forget, you can always try and cross this port threshold. island as well to gather goods. Okay, so I'm going to do so close yet so far. Uh, move up to two treasure islands according to your discard. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to... Do I need to move first before uh, I play no, this? So this no. was your play. Okay. All right. So since you used a special action, that is your play. This is my discard. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm going to move this island. One, two, three. Perfect. And you can choose to move this one if you'd like, but that's up to you. It says move up to two two one, treasure two. islands. Mm, no, I'm happy keeping those okay. away from you guys. All right. Sounds good. And so that Are gives you a taste now? of oh. Sea of Wonder. So I'm not letting you have I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> yep. Use your magical compass. You would have had it. Oh, man. Okay. So that was Sea of Plunder. Thank you, Rusty, so much for taking the time to come yeah. show us this game. Very important. How do I get my hands on the game? Okay, great question. So currently, uh, what you see in front of you, this is just our prototype, all right? And we are live on Kickstarter right now. So we launched July 3rd, and we're going to run through August 7th. Okay. Okay, but right now you can get this on Kickstarter. Um, the main main pledge level price point is $35. Okay. Um, so that's, that's where you can find it. You can also follow us along on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and also we have a webpage, 3 Nail Game games.com and uh, we all go underneath the titles of three nail games fantastic so. <laughs> jinx I know. so a couple of things that will be changing is going to be these custom 14 sided dice the 14s are going to be skulls and crossbones and then one is going to be alpha and the other is numeric to help to anybody with color blindness oh, that's it's right. going oh, to be a7 yes. puts the island Smart. right here Okay, and then also uh, we have a custom meeple challenge going on right now. Really? And that is going to be if you, like for example, we have like five different challenges, one of which is going to be film a pirate race. All right, you film a pirate race of some sort you're choosing or sink an enemy vessel. All right, or uh, another one is going to be make a boat out of food. You send me those images um, and it is going to unlock, all right, our custom Pineapple meeples. Pineapple people, watermelon. <laughs> Just going to throw things out there for you. <laughs> that sounds great. I'm, I'm excited for the creativity. But it's going to unlock custom meeples for each of these items, all right, for each of these different boats. That's fantastic. Completely creative. So th so these are not going to be the end, me although they're, they're very sweet and very cute, but each of those, thank you. Each of those boats will be <laughs> thank based. Thank you for that. <laughs> 
I thought you'd appreciate yeah. that. Mm. Each of these boats will be based on those port city islands, like the cultures um, that you guys saw in those. Uh, that's uh, that's what you'll have. God, I love green screen. <laughs> oh, okay. awesome. Was there anything else that you would like to tell us about the game before we... Uh, so the show. we do have a uh, high pledge level in which you can become part of the game. So anybody that backs our pledge right now, um, you will have your name printed on the inside of the box along with everybody else. It will be literally on the inside of the box. Uh, but some of these special action cards you guys will notice here um, – at the very bottom there, it has a quote or some flavor text added in there. Um, there down at the bottom, you see Liam Michael. Um, and that is going to be a spot where you can have your name. So this card here, uh, you will be in good company. This, is, this card here is in memory of my late son, so Liam Michael. Um, and so you'll be in great company up there with him. And there's a few more options still left. I believe six the last time I checked. So go ahead and come out and check it out. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, very good. Rusty, thank you so much for coming on the stream and taking the time to show us Sea of Plunder. I really appreciate thank it. You. So, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you all very much for sticking with us here at Twist Gaming for your live Dice Tower coverage of twenty. Dice Tower Con 2018. Saturday. One day more. One more day. It's been great to be here. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Bye.